I'm Blake Miltier. I'm the museum director and chief curator here at the Fine Arts Center, and we're here with Stephen Batura, who has, with me, worked on the show called A Reservoir of Occurrences. I found a photographer who lived in Denver around the turn of the century, in the 19th century. And for about 30 years, he wandered around Denver taking photographs. And what my 15-year project has been is re-envisioning all of the photographs he left behind. And in this first room, kind of work in different ways. We see a very desolate house in a, a pretty um, bland neighborhood with very little uh, vegetation, no sign of life. And then in the next panel we have a family, uh, family and friends on a picnic. So we have the people, we have the wilderness. The third painting is a bunch of tomato plants next to a little creek and I believe this is near Lily Bridge's house and it's kind of a combination of the two. It's got some vegetation that's wild, it's got these plants that have been attended to and the stream running through it which is a major theme of, of all of his photography and a lot of the work that I did. And then finally the little house of Charles Lillybridge. It's a very humble little building as you can see. He actually was squatting right by the river. They think he built that little shack. And there's a sign on it which you can read in one of the paintings, Scenic Photographer. Mostly I think he was obsessed with recording the life around him near his house by the river and I think he stopped a lot of people and took their pictures whether he knew them or not. So that's what we're gonna see in the next room. We see some of those people and we see some of the uh, signs of life. Lots of workmen, construction work going on. All this revolving around this river that was right outside his door and running through the city of Denver. I'm not trying to replicate any natural light, natural color. I'm really building these images from a palette that is arrived at through trial and error and I work uh, little by little um, building the whole thing and I often don't know what I'm seeing as I work. So I just trust that I replicate those gray values in color that there's going to be a, an ability to read it as something. This particular painting, if you're trying to figure out what it is, it's a, an auction of cattle and I probably worked on this for two weeks before I realized what it was. The photograph was blurry, it's hard to read, obviously all these men were hanging around doing something and finally resolved it. But you can see how abstracted the cattle are and in places how, how abstracted the shapes of the men are. They kind of blend into one another. So there are elements in this that I'm trusting in the Im original imagery and following that. I am not taking any liberties with the original image. I'm not moving anything around. Uh, the most I do in anything in this show is crop the images. So I'm not making any changes and I rely really on the information that's given to me. And Lilybridge often had problems with his technique so that we have fingerprints, smudges, drips on the plates and on off, oftentimes I'll put that into the paintings. One thing I love about Stephen's work is the scale and a significant part of the identity of these works is that change in scale from the original photograph from Charles Lillybridge from the early 20th century to these large scale very contemporary paintings. I'm working from black and white images that are probably uh, five by eight inches. And so changing the scale makes a significant difference and it plays off the difference between photography and painting. And to me, painting allows a certain amount of time to be seen. You can see the hand of the painter. You can see the uh, changes in uh, tones much more directly than you can with a photograph. So that element of time lets you um, ponder a painting and the significance of it 